Good morning, best friends. Okay, so I'm in my car today. Has it's it's literally just like 7:13, and today has been like crazy, like like so crazy. It's been crazy because my mom, like I said, I don't know if you guys remember, but I said that my mom started on work at um an hour earlier, and it's like we just didn't prepare on time, and that I couldn't go with her because if I would have went with her, then she probably wouldn't have made it to work because in her way to work, she usually like drops me off, so that kind of sucks. So I, I'm gonna drive my car. I think I have one day, one more day with the pass, like the permit to park in the parking lot by my school. Um, so hopefully I do, because if I don't, then I may have to pay $13 for a day to park the car, which will suck. Oh, so that is what I am doing. Um, yeah. Also, the video that is supposed to come, both videos that are supposed to come out today are not done. I edited the content video that's supposed to come out at 10 a.m., um, but I feel like I can get it like down more i can cut some more stuff out but i was just too tired to even think about editing so i fell asleep so but i'm like 90 percent done with that and then i have to edit the vlog for 5 p.m so i'm leaving to work but hopefully i get there earlier so i can do all these things so that's my that's what i'm doing this morning also yeah that's what I'm doing this morning. So hopefully you guys are having a great day, but mine is rushed. But we're still going to have a good day in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, best friends. That thing right there. She said, you know what? I'm tired of running over there. I'm just going to sit right here and praise him. Now watch me. I want you to listen carefully. I called it a praise break. Because she didn't stay there. And for some of y'all, I wish that you could stay in your praise. Come on, let's talk for a minute. Let's talk. Come on, let's talk. Because sometimes we come through, we come to church, we shout on Sundays, but then by Monday you get hit. You know why you got hit? Because you went back over here. You went back over there to see your family. You went back over there. And you went over there with expectations. Come on here. Question, why seek he the living among the dead? You know how your family are. So why you why you keep calling them expecting them to be the Brady Bunch? <laughs> stop, stop. So this really places a light layer. Now, best friends, you do not need to put a lot. A little goes a long way. Like I feel like when I put a lot, so I do. You guys see that? Now I put it on the area where I want my wig to be. Focus. Okay, so I'm going to put the glue from here to here. Okay, best friends. Okay, so I finished from work. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I end up, after work, I end up going to the library on campus trying to see if I could reserve a room. And it's possible the only thing that was like wrong with that situation was that you have to book it like a day and or a day or before in advance which sucks because i can't like book it indefinitely so i'm gonna have to like probably wake up at like 12 a.m and like book the room but right now i'm just sitting down there waiting for the bus so i can go to my car you guys i'm tired i'm tired but let me show you the scenery it's really pretty around this downtown area. And I'm just like, I hope nobody sees me. I don't feel like talking to nobody. I'm hot, I'm tired. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull out this book that I'm reading. Oh, and guess what, best friends? I have an interview on Wednesday. You guys know that I've been looking for jobs and I'm super duper, uber, 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 uber happy that I got, well, I'm speaking it, 
but I'm happy that I got at least a phone interview. <sighs> so I hope that goes well, but this is the book I'm reading. It's a really good book. So, truthfully, to be honest, I feel, well, obviously, I did not plan accordingly for this week. Um, I, because I just, I have so much stuff to do, like, every day. Like, every day. Like, literally, like, right now, I have to make the podcast, edit the podcast, have it ready so I can, like, you know, have it come out tomorrow, as well as edit a video that is supposed to come out at 10 a.m. because there's videos supposed to be coming out every day this week and I'm just like that's why it's so important to like schedule stuff in advance schedule stuff like months two months three times three months in advance because you things just pile up like things literally just pile up and I'm just like sway how did this how did I get so much stuff to do like I know I know you guys can relate to like when you have things to do and you're like, okay, I can push it off because, you know, th this is too far in advance to do it. Like, no, do it now because you're going to be stuck like me when you have so much things to do. So right now, and also you guys are going to like watch the behind the scene process of me, you know, doing my podcast. I'm going to put on a Facebook Live and I'm going to put on a Facebook Live so that other people can be get more awareness of Influencer Speaks, which is the podcast for Millennial Influence, as well as trying to get more people to my subscriber list, trying to get more viewers. Um, so that is what I am doing right now. So this is behind the scenes. So I have my podcast, my mic plugged up. When I start an episode, I try to... I know what I'm going to talk about. So I know my topic. And then I try to play with the sound just make sure the sound is well i probably do need to turn the air conditioner off because i don't want there to be any noise coming into the mic because the mic picks up everything so i already have some things pre-recorded so as i don't know if you guys heard it 
if you didn't hear it, that's because you didn't listen to my podcast. You haven't listened to my podcast yet. It's never too late. Um, hey, influencers. I'm your host, Crystal Adama, and I want to welcome you to the Influencer Speaks podcast. A podcast that highlights millennials that are just like you in their field of work, the community, and even the world. So let's get right to it. And that's when I come come on. So that is that is um yeah, that's the the intro. So now I have a break in my um a break in my podcast. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on Instagram and try to find some motivational speakers so that like halfway through my segment, I put like a motivational speaker that, is, that really boosts us up and gives us the inspiration and the resources that we need. And then it comes back to me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back when I find that person in that video that I'm going to go with and then I'll let you hear it. And then after that, we're going to start this Facebook Live. We're going to start this conversation and then we're going to get going. Ooh. Okay, so I'm ready to start my, oh gosh, I'm ready to start my podcast. I always get so nervous right before I start podcasts. Like when I do videos, I don't get nervous. But when I do like podcasts, I get nervous. Maybe because I'm not used to it and I've been doing YouTube for like four years. Okay, so I'm not going to play the break. I'm gonna just start the podcast. Actually, I think, let me start Facebook Live first. Let me start it up. Um, I'm gonna say I'm I have to leave a caption so people know what it is. I'm saying be behind the scenes. I can't even spell scenes. Oh God, yeah, behind the scenes for millennial and. Okay, so I currently have Facebook Live going right now and Facebook Live, I currently have my daily vlogs. So basically with my daily vlogs, what I do is I show my day-to-day -day processes of the grind. A lot of people like to like glorify um, entrepreneurship and business, but really with my vlogs, I just want to have something for myself to see like, yo, you really started from level one and in five years, you're going to be on level 1000. So just to have this, so if you want to see what it's really like behind the scenes, then definitely check it out. Um, check it out. Crystal Adama on YouTube. What are, what is Damien saying? You both are my time with the love. Love you too. Oh my god, all these hearts. I can't take it. <laughs> How am I gonna act appropriate for this podcast? Okay. Hey influencers, I hope your week has went well. Like, how are you guys actually doing? And see, I always do this, I always do this, I always do this, I always do this. My first take is always so bad, and I always delete it. Oh my god. Ah! Can't believe you're actually watching me. Oh, my first scene is always bad. I always have to delete this one. <sighs> I want it to come off natural. Natural. <sighs> hey, influencers. Hello, influencers. I hope your week has been going well. It's your host, Crystal Adam, and I just cannot wait for this conversation because I know a lot of people are going to enjoy it. A lot of people are not going to like it. It's going to snatch a lot of people's edges off, but it's okay because that's what we're here for. But how was your week going? Like, what did you do? Their Beyonce concert was in Chicago. Beyonce has been torn all over the world. Did you go? And if you did go, I'm about to grind you up in this podcast. But it's okay. It's okay, best friends. It's okay. Oh my God. You guys are having a conversation. Exactly. 
Exactly. Okay, let me start this one more time. The third time's a charm. Y'all are making me nervous. <sighs> Hello, influencers. I just am so excited to talk to you guys this week. Literally, we're going to have a great conversation. It's going to grind you up. You're going to learn some new tips that can help you for your life. And I'm just so excited. Let's just get into this conversation because I know you have other things to do. Okay, so this week I sent out um, a weekend fuel on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I got a lot of good... Um, request a lot of good um can it go oh let's do this okay okay one more time the last time they probably thinking like what is she doing this is what i do this is what i do with my podcast so don't think anything is perfect because literally people when we make videos when we do podcasts it's never straightforward it's never straightforward Okay. Hello influencers. I hope your week is going well because you know it is just a great time to be alive right now. Like we have so many resources, so many things are happening right now. There's just so many opportunity. I am just so excited to be in this time that we are in right now. But how are you guys doing? Like, how was your week? What did you do today? Did you go to work? Did you have to pick up your kids? Did you have to pay some bills? Like, how was your day? How was your week going? Okay, so now it's time for the commercial. I want you guys to hear it. Okay. So you're still buying into the story of what happened in your past? You're still buying into the story of I dropped out of school. You're still buying into the story of I had my first child at 15, 16, 17. You're still buying into the story that I have too many kids. Ladies, it come a point in time in your life that you have to stop buying into your own story because your own story has created what you call a victim mentality. And until you wake up and make a stance that you know what, I put myself right here. I made a decision to be right here. You can make the same decision you made to be right where you are right now. You can make the opposite decision to say it is time for me to get up out of where I am today. I am not going to die like this broke, buzzing, disgusting. I'm not going to die not living my full life's potential. Today is the day I'm going to wake up and I'm going to make a decision. It is my turn to win. Yes. Yes. Okay, so now when I played a little bit of my playback, I was so loud. So let me go back to mine. And hopefully I'm not too loud because I would hate to record that again. Hmm. And you may even be working hard. But you need to work harder. Working is not going to get you to where you want to be. Working hard is not going to get you to where you want to be. Working harder is. Oh, that was so bad. That playback was so bad. Oh, my God. I got to do it again. Oh, my God. I did 10 minutes, and now I have to do it again. I have to do this again. I have to do this game because it's just, it's too, it's not good. Like, listen. Beyonce, I said the Beyonce. Beyonce has been traveling all over the like, country. Like, look how close I am to the mic. I do that over again. Who I'm glad to be up late. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. It's like, it's, when I'm talking like this, like, it, it sounds really good. But, like, when I get hyped and get loud, that's when it's just, it's just really bad. 
Let me try to take the camera further away from me. You like that? There is so much potential in you. Your life hasn't even started. The world is is your place to just explore and and do whatever you want. Stop hanging around with these bad people that seem cool. Because I promise you, best friends, all my high school best friends, when you're in high school, the cool people, the people that get all the attention, I promise you, they're not like that. Like, five years from now, they're not going to be cool. Five years from now, nobody's going to be wanting to hang around them. They're, like, actually pretty lame. Hey, best friends. Okay. I got a wig on. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways. I am getting ready for bed. I'm about to wash my hands so I can take off my contacts. I'm gonna oil my scalp. We'll just put some moisturizer in there. And then I'm gonna take myself to sleep. It is about 10, it's like 10 minutes to 1 a.m. And I'm very tired, very tired, so. Right now I'm taking out my contacts. Today was a long day. It was a very long day. When I came home, I did the podcast. Edited it. Was it bathroom? Yep. And then I put it on private. What else did I do? Edit my video for tomorrow. It's supposed to come out at 10 a.m. And I still haven't edited this video. But once I get a handle on things, it's going to be good. I just feel like I need to one day just edit like crazy and I'll be on track. This is the moisturizer I use. If anybody has any other suggestions that are good for the scalp and make your scalp feel good. Cause there's some moisturizers or oils that I put in my hair that doesn't make my hair feel good. If you have any suggestions, let your girl know. Whew. Oh gosh. You guys are probably like, oh my God, you put in too much. My hair, my scalp gets so dry. It needs this attention. It feels good. <laughs> and it feels really good when you do this and you go in the shower. See? What's in my scalp? Well, best friend, I'm so glad you, if you watched it all at this point, you are a true best friend. And I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. Who keeps turning off this heater? The air conditioner. Me? Why? Because it's cold.